Hey friends, it's pet portrait time. I'm gonna paint Hope, this adorable corgi. Let's get started. Just a couple of comments. This is a 14 by 18 inch canvas from Blick Art Materials. It's their premier line. Really nice canvas. It's gallery wrapped and splined. I just love that. I think that looks nice. They cost a little more, but I totally think it's worth it. I wrote the word love in brown chalk pastel. The chalk pastel is from Hippie Crafter. The link is in this video's description. I used, let's grab some colors here. I squeezed out way too much Mars black. I'll show you my palette here in a second. I don't know why I did that, I just did. Burnt Umber. Unbleached Titanium. If you don't wanna go out and buy this, just takes a little, a whole bunch of titanium white. Here, let me grab titanium white as long as we're talking about it. Uh, put just a pinch of burnt umber in it and maybe a pinch of yellow and you'll get a nice creamy color. Okay, I'll show you my palette. So I don't know why I squeezed out so much black, but I'll missed it. I don't know if you can see there. Maybe you can kind of see there. There's a really big puddle. So Mars black. Um, burnt umber and unbleached titanium is what I painted for the background. I um, don't know why I squeeze out so much, but I will keep it. I just uh, missed it, put another plate on top, it, top of it and put it in a gallon baggie. Uh, normally, uh, this is the way I'm gonna have set up for Hope's pet portrait. Um, usually I have darker at the bottom and go lighter. So it has some weight at the bottom. Um, I just like it that way better. Really, it's not that big a deal. But with Hope, you're looking down on her. The person who took the photo is looking down. So I think it'll make more sense maybe if we go from a little bit uh, lighter to darker. But you could do it the other way. You could turn it, ah, it's a little wet. I'm not gonna pick it up again. Anyway, I just wanted to pop in with colors and what I'm up to. I'm gonna let this dry for a couple hours and we'll get Hope transferred onto the canvas. Okay, just a couple thoughts. So when I enlarged Hope's photo and cropped it, here's the original photo, let's see if I can get it. If I get it closer, usually it color corrects pretty well. Um, it's blurry. And so it made a decent traceable, but I can't totally, like I can't see the eyes, but I can't see the eyes anyway. A little bit better here. Can't really see the nose, parts of the mouth. Um, so then I, I didn't want to lose the yellow chalk pastel that I transferred onto there. So I blew the photo up, scribbled on the back with yellow chalk pastel from Hippie Crafter, uh, traced it, I laid it on the floor so it'd be, it'd be easier and I used a ballpoint pen and traced it. Um, I do that for a couple reasons. One, normally it speeds up my painting process so then I don't have to charge um, the client as much money. And it also helps with structure. I mean, I could draw it, grid it, all that kind of kind of thing. Um, but mostly I'm going for speed to help save money. Uh, what else do I want to tell you? Oh, I wanted to show you 
So since I can't really see the eyes, I think I found this photo on Unsplash. It's a similar dog looking up, but it's smiling and the eyes are rounder. But it kind of gives me a very similar look at the nose too. I could see the nose a little bit better on this one too. So that'll help me. So the little tip there, sometimes you can find a photo that might help you a little bit. I think I'm gonna do the ball next. It's neon colors. Um, I'm not going to paint it neon colors. Here's the ball. I'm gonna paint it yellow, green, blue, and pink. And try to t mute it down. Um, because Hope is the star of the show here. So we definitely want this area to be hopefully the strongest. That's what I'm aiming for. And then I'm thinking about fading this out. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned, I added, so this is my background palette. I added raw sienna to it. It's a good color for this uh, corgi, raw sienna. And I'm just kind of finding shapes and outlining a little bit just so I don't lose my way. Okay, I think that's about all we need to talk about. Um, I'll be back in a bit. Hey, let's talk about this ball a little bit. So I'll show you, remind you. There's the ball. Neon colors. Um, you could probably buy neon colors. I don't have any. But I've got lime green, the yellow. I mean, actually, it's, I think it's quite good what I'm doing. Looks good. So I, I've painted, <laughs> that kind of squeaked a little. I've painted a couple layers. I'm using, oh gosh, I think that might say number three. It's maybe a quarter inch, maybe not quite a quarter, quarter inch filbert. I don't think that's quite a half inch. But hopefully that just helps. A little bit you can use any anything because all I'm doing is sort of painting down a layer and blending it and then I've even used this little brush quite a bit just so I have little brush strokes and it's smoother because the ball is quite smooth and then my colors are so I went with the yellow blue green shade which I think was a really good one right out of the tube the yellow blue green shade that's right there the lime green was nice and handy. Vivid lime green, here, maybe closer. And that is this color, right there. Cad yellow medium hue. Is that what that says? Cad yellow medium hue, I got it right. That's my yellow. And quinacridone magenta. Got a brand new tube. Thank you guys who support my channel. I just bought this. I really appreciate it. That's this color right here. And then titanium white is kind of buried on my shelf back here. Let's see if I can grab it. I got it. Titanium white. I, I use a lot of uh, titanium white in the jar. I use a lot of it in the basics because it's, it's less expensive. Um, lately I've been buying more basics because I can't always find it in the heavy body in my local store. I shop at Michael's quite a bit. Okay, so another thing I wanted, the whole reason I popped in, so I'm blending it, I've got like some darker greens, I added a little blue to my green to get a shadow here. I wanna do the ball first, cause I'm gonna pull first strokes over it, and I might even pull more strokes, a little bit longer fur than this, actually on Hope. Um, and, and I used white, which is totally, I mean, I used white for some of the lighter areas. I used white to mix that light blue. But then what I think is kind of neat here, I, I went over with some of my um, Cad Yellow Medium Hue. It says on there that it's semi-transparent. That's sort of half, um, that little square box that's filled in halfway, diagonally. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe if I kind of turn it a little bit. So I like that the yellow has some transparency. I add a little water to it. And so I'm, I warmed up the highlight, which I like. It isn't really what you would see in the ball, but I think it's better than the chalkier look of the when I mix white with the color. You guys have to let me know what you think. I also have to let me know if you can even see it in the video. 
So that's what I'm doing with the ball and why I'm spending so much time with the ball. I've added some ref reflective light, which you don't really see in the photo. So right here it's lighter pink, goes darker pink, and then it actually goes warmer pink, which I kind of like. Um, I think it helps with the roundness. I think it helps with light. The reflective light off of this cement would technically be cooler. So I'm liking what's happening there. Uh, and I also wanted to mention, you guys should check out, I painted a pair with a big brush and I show layer and glazing and light direction and shadows. This ball will look even rounder when I come back and add a darker shadow. Um, it is kind of an indirect shadow. I'm pretty sure it's a cloudy day on Hope. But I'm gonna come in and add at least some, I'm probably gonna add shadow for sure from about the pink all the way around the ball and then back underneath Hope. So that means, and you can see it a little bit, that this side of the, the nose is wider, slightly wider than this side. And I'm gonna probably emphasize that just to get to more interest in drama. Okay, but that'll help. But I don't, know, don't necessarily need to put that in just now. So next, oh here, we need to go back to the ball. This ball's quite complicated. So it has, here maybe if I do this, that'll look better. So right now I've got the stripes. And they don't have to be perfect, which that part's kind of nice. Like, I think that should curve a little bit more up this way. But see, like, there's an orange, So I'm looking at. There's an orange stripe with some stars. And then there's a dark bluish, maybe slightly purple stripe with some stars. The stars could be interesting. And then green. And they go over these seams. Oops, sorry. They go over these seams. So that's what I'm going to work on next. And I wouldn't have to necessarily do all the stars and finish that. But this paw goes over the star. So, and right there too, a little bit. So I might as well just go ahead and finish the whole ball. I may need to come back and adjust the values on it, but uh, I'm painting it fairly tight just because Hope is on top of the ball. Okay, <laughs> let me know if that makes sense in the comments or just wave hi. I really love it when you wave hi. It's fun for me. I love uh, when you guys share your art journey with me too. Oh shoot, I don't know. Oh no, I do it. For a second I thought I didn't have my microphone on. Um, I have a Facebook group. It's linked in this video description and a lot of times I link it to the pinned comment in the top. It's really fun to, to share with me what you're up to in that group. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit. Let's talk a second about how long things have taken me. So I don't remember how long it took to paint the background. Um, maybe an hour, hour and a half. I usually put a couple coats on it, let it dry, use the hair dryer, that kind of thing. To put hope on here by enlarging the photo, scribbling on back with chalk pastel, and then kind of sketching it out with paint so I don't lose. Because that yellow chalk pastel is hard to see sometimes. That took me three and a half hours. And it probably doesn't look it because it's real rough. And now this is the next day uh, I've been painting on this ball during the afternoon. And gosh, it has taken me four, <laughs> four, maybe over four hours. Part of it is, is the ball is going to take a couple coats to go over the brown. I'm still, you can't really see it, but there's still... It's a little muted, so there's still some of the brown background kind of coming through. Um, I talked about how I'm exaggerating a little bit the roundness of the ball so it looks more round because in the reference photo, um, it looks much more flat. But I think that's because the colors are also kind of messing with the camera that it was taken with. And then I'm messing with values a little bit. I'm exaggerating some values, like that's a really dark, blue star to kind of hint at a shadow a little more a little dark blue there um in that photo i just showed you here i shouldn't have put that away so 
the orange and the pink are very similar values and actually the orange looks a little lighter to me on the pink side and a little darker on the yellow side. That's a great example of how color is relative because we know they printed the same orange. Well, we don't know. We assume they printed the same orange color on that ball. And I ended up going darker and redder just to get it to show and then came back with some orange to soften it up on top of the red. Um, it's where I'm taking a little bit of artistic license so you can see it. I need to step back from it too. I might adjust it some more, but I've been on top of it most of this afternoon, as I mentioned. And then I'm also having a little bit of trouble with the green. But so if you can't get an edge, like if I painted it all the same green color, darker green color, I lose it. So then I come back with, I add some white and some yellow to my green so it's not quite so chalky. Um, you could just add white to it if you'd like that look better. But a lot of times with greens, I like adding almost as much yellow as I do white. And then I'm deliberately painting this edge, which doesn't really look that way in the photo, but it gives me the stripe edge. I might uh, tone it down as I get some stars on there. But I thought I'd pop in because I'm getting tired. <laughs> Um, I'm loving painting this portrait, but you can only spend so much time painting any one thing. So I'm going to quit for today, and then I'll be back tomorrow. Let's stop here for a minute. We'll do a little tour. The live's gonna start um, from this point, and then I'll pop back in, it'll be time-lapsed, and then I'll pop back in and let you know when that, that that last little bit was the live. So what am I doing? We've got a really colorful ball, and I think I mentioned that I wanted to paint the ball first because I'm gonna paint fur over it. I'm using the same blue in the dog tags Instead of trying to match it exactly in the photo, it'll just help tie it in. I'm also putting a little bit of blue in the eyes, around the nose, over here. I've got a little purple, which I don't know that you can see. Oh, maybe you can't see it. So things are starting to look a little bit better. Um, I'm happier with the eyes, nose, mouth. It always helps when you, when you get those put in. Here, let's just take a tour. And it's going to look better on video. Keep that in mind. So I try to get close, hoping that it will focus. Actually, that looks pretty good. But I do think it's smoothing it out. Um, it also helps me to look at it. So when I look at it like this in my uh, phone, I'm like, oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Even though it's quite rough in areas, you start to, um, I think it's called closure. You know, I, I don't have everything painted in, but your brain fill, kind of fills in. Isn't that fun? It's starting to look cute, which is fun. Oh, and I put purple there. You can see the purple in the ears. I might, it might get painted over, but at least it's there as a reminder. So I'm, so I have some pink, I have some blue, and I'm doing that. It may or may not work. I think it's going to work. So I'm trying to bring some of this bright color up into Hope's face and then some of the shadows just to help unify the painting because this really is strong and stands out. It's round, it's colorful. So I'm gonna try to make, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to um, not use very much white. My sun's coming from up over here. Oh, I need my little sun. And then not use too much white and then keep some of the white like right here so that it pops more. Try and, try and keep you at least going between these two instead of like going, wow, cute, pretty ball, but we really want to look at Hope's face. That's kind of, that's what I'm aiming for. Let's see, what else? I think that's about it. it some of the, it's going to be fun tomorrow during the live because I'll get a bigger brush out and a little bit less tight detail, a bit more fun, fun first stuff. Oh, definitely. So I don't forget to mention, I think I've already mentioned it, but this definitely needs a shadow. It's floating right now. 
So it definitely needs a shadow at least. I know I've mentioned that. Okay, guys, I'll be back after the live. That last little bit was the live. I'm gonna give you a little a tour and then I'll go back to painting. So I have the sun up here. That's where the, I'm thinking the light is really soft in the reference photo, but I'm gonna pump it up a little bit. And so I put a couple little white brush strokes to remind me that I want the light coming from that direction. It's starting to come together a little bit. I don't think much changed on the eyes. I don't have a highlight highlight on the eyes yet. Um, probably put one, actually I could put one on both. Depends on the sun's coming more from in the front or behind, hope. I might have it coming a little bit more from the front and then we could catch like a highlight there on that one and then maybe a highlight, a bigger highlight up higher on that one. Nose is looking a lot better. I have some color in there that I, like I end up painting over the purple that was here. Um, I may end up painting over the color. I was just kind of playing with it to see if I could get away with it. And I may paint it, put it back in. Because the, oh and then we painted quite a bit of this. And we painted quite a bit of this. So we painted, I, we painted some big areas on the live. Um, the ball has a lot of color, which that hasn't changed. Okay guys, it's so fun to hang out with you, share our art journeys together. I just love it and I'll be back in a bit.
Hey friends. So round one is done for Hope's pet portrait. And I'm really keeping this darker in values. Um, I want to say, I want Hope's face to really pop out maybe a little bit here, a little bit here, but I, this needs to be lighter too because it's, it's actually white fur. So on the reference photo, it's really soft lighting and I'm changing that. But it's white fur, creamy white around the chin here. I've got it quite dark, but it's easier to bring it up, turn up the lights. Um, and I just, I don't know if that statement's actually true. A acrylics are so forgiving. You can work dark to light or light to dark. So I thought you'd kind of want to see what it looks like. I think my next moves are going to be to really work on the highlights and get that kind of set how I'm going to do it and then bring, bring this up and see what I think. Okay. Oh, and then I'm going to soften the shadow a little bit, although it looks good in my in my phone. So I've got my little sun that says my light's coming basically from over there. And see, I've got quite a bit of color in the eyes and the nose and the mouth. And it's pretty rough still. But I've got all, I think all the major landmarks found. Oh, and I think I'll put a bright highlight in this eye. Like the sun's catching it. I don't know if I'll put one in this eye. But see, when you get back, that color blends, right? It optically blends, which is cool. Okay, so, and I think, I mean, this is, nothing's done, but I think, well, the background's up here's done, but I think I'm going to work on that so that I know better how much I want to pull that forward. And technically, she's lighter down here in col fur color, but I just, I really want the face to be strong because we're, we've got a really strong ball here. And it's already working. It's already working. Okay, so back to the tour. I get it. We don't need the. I think the nose might be done. I was just kind of trying to guess where the nostrils go and stuff, but I think I'm really close. Her nose on the reference photo is just a black blob. And then her teeth need to be water whiter. They're quite white. I need to back up a little bit. I don't know how much you want to see. We need to put the name Hope on her dog, dog tag. There's her paws. Oh, here, maybe you want to see her paw. So I just put black um, dots right now, shapes for her nails. I might adjust that. So the fun part's going to be now, I've kind of got the basic shapes and shadows in there. The fun part is going to be, you know, pulling out some highlights and pulling out some fur um, and just playing a little bit more. I She's got a much lighter stripe, pretty much that goes here. I've already kind of dulled it down. I might dull it down a little more just because I'm trying to make the light a little bit more dramatic. Okay guys, I just thought I'd pop in and let you know what I'm thinking. I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I'm done with Hope's portrait. I think it looks really cute. I'm looking at it in my phone. I um, I like that I didn't put a bunch of white on it. I'm, I'm trying to pull your eye up from this very colorful ball to Hope's face. And I think it works pretty well. Here, we'll take a little tour. I, I um, I don't know how to describe it. I was going to say I opened her eyes up. That's not true. They're about the same open. I um, put in a little bit more detail in the eyes. There we go. I'll show you the reference photo here in a minute. Here, maybe you want to... Because in my reference photo, they look just almost black. Same with the nose. I think I, I already talked about this. So I don't know if this is like a month later 
because I work on this off and on in between projects when I can get a chance to do it. And I want to be able to sit down and work on it for several hours at a time. I like the cool blue shadows here. I think that's nice. Her, her tags are cute. I don't know you want to see her paw. I put in a shadow for the ball. Kind of her body. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Such a cute photo. Okay, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, it's really fun to share my art journey with you guys. I super appreciate all your support. It just means the world to me. It's just simply amazing. Great big happy art hugs and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys!